left on the clock. T1 still trying to inch their way in. Finally, the wall is going to go through, and it might actually, no, just barely not going to get cracked there. Nobody to help Baby Bay out, but he's finding kills. They do break it down. The spike on the ground on top of it all, and they're running out of time. They waited so long to push onto the site, and now it's all starting to fall apart here. Phase. They've got the answer. What looks like the answer here in the pistol rest. It's kind of like a weird sacrificial kind of push from him just trying to be that aggressive lurker on the a side i mean again there wasn't a whole lot to work with for t1 they kind of were already getting whittled down so it's like they kind of had to make an information play somewhere but he gets caught but automatic and company still trying to collapse on this b site and automatic almost got it done skadoodle will actually clean up there unfortunately for him the spike is out of reach and the clock is really running low He's trying to make his way over towards it now, but again, with time so low, I'm not sure what he's going to be able to do. He does get the kill on the Cory, though. He picks up the Spectre. Again, will he know that he's being flanked from Long B is kind of the problem. He, he's trying to look for the fight instead of the plant, and yeah, baby. This, you know, aggressive play style to be, like, the main kind of guy to, you know, entry to sight. And so to have Spider play an aggro lurk with Jet is kind of odd, but he's always been kind of known to be an aggro lurk with, like, Omen and stuff like that in the past, right? So, interesting, but hold the phone, because Baby Bay is just lighting up the kill feed with the daggers here at Long B. And this was their round to lose with just Sheriff's and really handcuffed by for FaZe, but he won, get punished by the daggers of Baby Bay as they look to push up towards B. The spike now in hand of Automatic. And they're going to keep the same approach. Sheriff shots go wide. The kill traded right back. T1 down to their last. And it's Spider, the player that was lurking all the way over towards A. Now has to not only creep left. on up and grab the spike, but there's only 30 seconds to do it again, mm -hmm. Dust. They're really handcuffing themselves with this clock as Marv finds that last kill. That was... And Baby Bay had himself a solid round at that and oh, yeah. starts things off pretty good. This is, this, is, this is the exact same way T1 played against Cloud9 where they, they sent Spider to A. I don't every like it. single round. Yeah, and it's that to me that's readable. A, that's a poor utilization of Jet in my opinion. Like I don't I don't understand using Jet in that fashion. I feel like if you're Spider, you want to unleash him if he's going to be playing Jet and let him be that aggressor. Let him help you trade frag alongside Skoodle's Rays to fight for map control or to fight for approaches onto the site. It's really odd to see him play a Lurk. If he wants to be a Lurk-type player, that's fine, but why are you a Jet? Like, I, I, that's mm -hmm. always been kind of a head-scratcher for me, and I don't claim to be... No. The wall actually gets shot down, so it stops the plant for a moment. Toxic screen goes down. Curry's able to find that kill on the flanker. And we'll be able to upgrade from the sheriff to a rifle. But we'll see if that's going to be enough as they still have to get the spike down in the sage yeah. wall. If, if that's what you were banking on, that's not necessarily the most foolproof strategy. The Viper's Pit, though, does help quite a bit as Curry finds another kill and bogs down this B site and make it a lot more difficult for FaZe to find their way through. And this op, not going to get a whole lot of value. Inside through that pit as Curry goes good for a third. And is it going to take the individual heroics? <laughs> it looks like it. It's a fourth. They go for the plant again. Finally, the spike to go down. And Curry looking to find the cherry on top. Rockus finds one. There it is. It's an ace. It's the first round on the board. Right. Now that the information comes through, Hunter's cherry from Rockus. Able to find a kill. Days trades one back. So both of the Sobas on the board. And... Ooh. Yeah, the thing is, we're able to see FaZe have a big rotation because their raise has pushed all the way through A side. And he, he's trying to flank, but you can see Curry's like, I'm not letting you flank, Rude. As soon as you commit, I'm going to be here. As Curry is still waiting in that L bin, now he will eventually come back. But no, he, he's still very curious that there's going to be a flank, and he would be right. But actually, the raise will kind of back off, thinking it might be a double back to the A side with the numbers that are in play. But no, we can see T1 are still committing here very heavily to B side. They're starting to get even more space right now. Zachary and company trying to fight back, but they still are a man behind. And unfortunately, that op not going to be enough to take down the wall and stop the plant. So the spike does go down. T1 seemed to be in the driver's seat, and it looked like their defaulted ways might net themselves a round win. Although Corey, very healthy. Rifle in hand. Bold off, though, so really only has one approach. And I have I would to say imagine. this, Tanner. That's a pretty bold statement from T1 because FaZe got the read. They got the flank off with their raise through A side. They had mm -hmm. four players ready to defend. No man, so the Viper's Wall it definitely gets some respect here. Ooh, he oh. actually sees over the top of it, misses the shot, and Corey finds a kill on today's as the smoke goes up. Marv looking to get aggressive. 
The kills are being traded back and forth. Finally, one taken off the board from FaZe. Kind of a kill. On to Dazed in towards mid. The spike has been planted. And again, T1 flirting with that clock and not in the best way, running it down to almost the last seconds. Mm. I'm not too sure what FaZe have as far as the an answer retake. goes for this. Yeah, Baby Bay definitely doesn't want to start pushing it with the Operator. Now with Corey down, almost making another as Rockus takes some damage. The rifle and an op spider playing out towards yellow. Smokes go down. That's the operator down. Spider to grab another. And hey, when you group up with the team, look what we're not going to find too much. As Baby Bay looks to play off of that one way smoke. Here comes the show sniper from Skadoodle, but he gets sat down out of the sky. It's skate shooting from Baby Bay. He will fall. And the Jets get on the board for one kill each. Resurrection comes through. Skadoodle back now to try and help his team out. And there's the Viper Spit. We saw how this Ooh. ended the last time. Where is that recon bolt? Is it available for Rockus? If so, this Viper Spit gets a whole lot more vulnerable. Yeah. There's a lot of time left, though, and T1 still have main advantage thanks to the res. They're rotating. They picked up an operator as well on Spider. Like you said, they are backing up. Marv using that opportunity to go ahead and get the res on Baby Bay at yellow, but Curry is still floating around oh the pit. He's able to find two big headshots. And as you said, they got the heck out of there. Curry's basically covered for them to rotate to A, which is wide open. It's going to be a four on three post plan in favor of T1. They have crafted together a nice finishing to this half on the attack side. They could be getting their sixth round in a row. It all comes down to whether or not FaZe can retake a man down with no alts. Wow, we do still have Hunter Siri available for, for days. And a nice post plant. It gets even better with Skadoodle finding that kill onto Marv. No ultimates available. It's just going to be the gunfights from the last two for FaZe. And, I mean, like the inverse. As Automatic finds one as they drop on down. Corey now with 33 HP in a 1v3 situation. It's just not long for this world. I can't imagine he gets too much done here, but we can't count him out. The Hunter Street is also still available. So he's going to fake the spike. He's got to do it now. Instead, it's Spider with the Operator, and it's T1. You know, playing forward angles and just out dueling them, and then they just go back to the playbook. They change the pace, and they come out swinging to tie things back up. Now we're in the pistol. Spider already has found his first target, though low on health. And the wall is just so strong here on the pistol, but it doesn't matter. The pistols are strong on pistol for both of these teams. The T1 up a member. Fighter still low on HP. He's able to sneak away after finding a kill, and unfortunately, the heal now taken off the board. This Rock is trying to do what he can. Maybe spot one of the heads just on the other side of the wall in a 4v2. It looks like they're rethinking their decision, but even if they do, T1, I mean, they could send one person over. Looks like they're doing that, but I mean, there's not a whole lot for FaZe here. No. There really isn't. I mean, that's the problem, I feel like, since, I mean, when you lose this many resources, it's really hard to, like, to be able to double back and come up with a plan B. Um, they have been able to get one kill there with Rockus. Now on a one versus three. 30 seconds left. You do have Spider low on health, so that could be a vulnerable target for Rockus as he tries to do a little bit of splinter cell action here on the ropes and he actually does find spider and he looks like he might get the spike plan he caught nope never mind. much to write home about here in right. this one maybe they looks to creep on up still unspotted spots ahead of one days with the flick able to take him down and now t1 are starting to find the kills but on the way out oh okay picks up another raucous with the ghost and it's down to the last skadoodle ghost in hand no real angle for either of these players satchel charge to go through the blast pack, rather. Uh oh. Low on time. FaZe might have just inched this one out. It's not halfway. It's not anywhere. He's just going to try and stick it in rock. <laughs> the site, and they already have their Viper flanking, but I think they do have a guy kind of watching out for this here towards the back of A side. So, still going to be tough. On oh, Baby Bay. Already picking up two here, looking to have themselves around. Marv going to find the next. Oh, just barely sneaking away was Daze, but he will eventually fall. And now Curry, still hanging out over towards B, has to try and make his way over. 60 health, so not great. Trying to take a fight with Corey here. Also not great, and it ends up being a flawless round for FaZe. Yeah. And swing it. And we haven't really seen it yet. Is that shot going to go just Ouch. over the top? Marv crouch walking into the site as Baby Bay picks up a couple of their own automatic. It's on the board, but now it's all down once more to Curry. A rifle in his hand this time around, so... 
a bit more doable than just having that classic in 60 HP, but still a very tall ask as he peeks away into the corner. Ori will sit him down and get critical. 30 seconds. We're going to use that showstopper. Not going to find anything and again oh, gets no. taken down mid air. That hurts so much. It did get a bit of damage down on the Zachary, but just not enough as the Hunter Shuri is going to be traded back and forth. Phased actually takes Rockus down, so you no longer have to worry about that phase. Hunter Shuri, and there's the spike oh, on the ground. Man. The clock is ticking down. He won in the first half. Yeah, this is big. He's going to be able to make sure that they're going to be able to get this spike over. Now, actually, they're taking some battles over at middle, so they're getting bogged Ooh. down and trying to make this transition. A huge catch from Curry onto Baby left. Bay. The numbers are dwindling, but Corey, again, great position here up close, able to pull out the showstopper, trying to hold you up. Oh, no way. My Oh, I thought he was getting more than that, but it's still, that's going to be a good one, but at least a res comes in, and T1 still had the numbers. I thought a triple kill oh, in too. the works there. Unfortunately, only good for one that immediately gets resurrected, but there it is. He answers back with another. Spider able to trade it with the operator. Zachary one has the angle, remains. but Dazed has the kill, and now we find ourselves in a 1v1. Match point on the horizon here for FaZe. Should Rockus find this kill? He's got the off angle. He's got the headshot. Game overall. Really, most of them have, except for Curry. Um, so to see them start waking up a little bit, certainly good news if you're a T1 fan. But been playing on, you know, the wrong side Ooh. the entire game as Baby Bay makes an aggressive play, tries to go good again with the knives. Not going to get it this time around, but three for two we go. And T1 on the back foot. Automatic. Use that heal orb on himself as the spike looks to get planted, just buying a bit of time. Corey can use that one. No, I think it's Corey to use it to get the showstopper here. So FaZe have so much in their arsenal to try and close this one out. And Zachary, oh, yeah. quite a bit prettier here. Not on that one HP through the smoke. One kill comes through. There comes. Ooh, the resurrection's actually available. But no. This completely trapped. And I'll talk about kind of the teamwork that went into that. That I noticed is Baby Bay on the flank. It goes good for another. And it's still the frenzy meta. We'll see how meta it is. It's all up to Baby Bay. Try and stop the diffuse from coming on through. The smokes come down. On up towards heaven. Daze is going to find the kill. Okay, so. It was a dink onto the omen. But he had. He did. Uh, I, I don't know. Okay, that did actually make it through. I thought that was going to hit the opposite side there. So Skadoodle. With an aftershock kill, looking for some more, but instead it's Spider with the Frenzy to spray him down. And that's the spike delayed and stuck on this B site. Interesting. They have a raise, though, actually, making it up through. See, it's going to be Corey. He does actually get the jump here onto Curry. Zachary will get him from the blind side. And so they're starting to cause a little bit of chaos here all across the map. Zachary with another, but he's so low on health now. He still has two members standing. And yeah, that's going to be the end of the shenanigans. It was interesting. What you gonna do, bud? I wanna he's see it. He's gotta be good for one here. He's completely looking the other direction. Oh. He's gonna dodge out on the fault line oh, as well. Nobody no. spots him, but it's the <laughs> long range battle as they get on the site. Corey to find the first and through the smoke. Oh, Marv is gonna grab another T1. And maybe exits. You, you kind of just have to run at this phase squad to make sure you're getting those lost bonuses here at the end and trying to do as much damage as you can as Baby Bay. Looking to get aggressive. Ooh, well, flash one, dash. But in the back. Faze is going to find the kill, and it's not... Wow, as we were saying, Faze wasting no time once again getting into sewers. They're forcing the Shrouded Step out of Automatic to get the hell out of there. And they also pick up on Scott, who was trying to play aggressive at A with Daze. They break that apart, and they are just getting so many frags. Even Spider's been pushed off without being able to get a pick with the op. At least Curry's able to respond a bit, but still A going to be taken. Again, it's just a T1 team that's getting outgunned here. Finally, Spider gets on the board and is able yeah, to use the knives theft. now. In the 3v3 automatic, gonna find the kill onto Zachary. Spider goes good for another, has the knives in reserve. Knows where Baby Bay is at, playing right underneath heaven. It's a 1v2. Drowned step to get away. Baby Bay has to find the spike and get it down. Has a lot of time to do it and could look to rotate out, but both avenues are going to be covered here as he backs away. Oh, the timing. Line. He doesn't spot automatic. This could be huge. And Baby... Okay, what He's if done. Baby Bay sneaks into sewers he, that's... instead of going out? Mm, I don't see it. Ah, yeah, not going to be the case. Automatic. Oh, 
Yeah, that's a scary spot to be as Baby May dashes on just before the Rolling Thunder hits. Dave's able to find a kill and Spider to find another. Fortunately, you're not too affected when you're using that weapon. It only takes one shot with the classic. Spider finds another kill and a third on the way out. Certainly possible. We always know that Corey likes to challenge his garage position, so I wouldn't be surprised, but Unomatic is holding the angle here, just waiting, and he might even catch a bit of a timing depending on when he peeks here. It could get interesting. A huge blind, but Corey still finds a kill in Baby Bay to get one as well. I thought that was it. I thought that was the moment that T1 needed. But unfortunately, they trade two for one. And FaZe are now a player ahead as they swing back over towards A. Yeah, big alt here to get heaven control from Marv. Spike trying to come up long. Spider is going to be here with the operator trying to watch for a bit of a cross, but they don't really have to cross him. They can just kind of play back and get the spike plant with Marv having heaven control, and they should still be fine. And they have man advantage to hold off the street take. And this is tough to have to retake heaven here and low on HP as Marv looks to spray down Dazed. Kill is going to be traded back and forth, but it's still phased with the man advantage and a shock dart. So wide. Now looking for some heroics here is Dazed with an operator in hand. Very slowly creeping on up, but there's so many angles to check. It's denied for Baby Bay here. Able to find that first kill. Now Dazed with 50 HP needs to just skirt away, but... Corey going to be here to shut him down. No, Dazed actually okay. finds a kill. 11 HP and... Could quite possibly save the operator. No, it's the right click from the knives from Baby Bay to deny that operator save and spread thin. And obviously way down in numbers. This is gonna be really tough for, for FaZe to hold on. Flash point through garage. Rock is gonna give up his position, but in favor of a kill. It was a 3k for the Sova, but now the blades come out and Spider looking to throw everything here at this round to try and make sure they can clutch. Mm-hmm. Three has the angle on the way out over towards long. There's the dash, oh. there's the peak, but now it's a 1v1, and Marv, he's sitting pretty healthy. Tosses out the smoke. Gonna fake the shrouded step, and Spider gets it oh. halfway, but Marv has the shots on target. Phase to five. So I'm not really sure what their end game is here. It looks like they're trying to pivot now through Garage to Seaside. But time is low. They're running out of yep, running out of time. And again, Curry in this corner has the rifle. That's the spike down. Another kill to follow. Beautiful flashes coming out there, I believe, from Skadoodle from downtown. And Ruckus is gonna do his darndest to hurt the economy. But this was a thrifty round. Spike planted. Oh no. Days gets in window, but okay, Corey did pick up on it. That I thought maybe Days might sneak in there, but big catch for face. A huge catch. That is one of the best retake options to try and get through mid and baby base. Wings and finds the grape of automatic. Curry's able to trade it back, but T1 on the back foot again. Corey looking to get out of dodge, create some space from where this spike is planted. Spider goes up top, finds a kill with the operator, but Marv is still here fighting right out in front. Now Rockus has what? to make his way on in. They have no clue where he's at. The defuse is coming through. Rockus stop. It's halfway. No, he finds the kill. Spider goes wide on the wall. The drone is coming out through A, though. Now they know what they're up against. He's just trying to stay out of dodge here. They jump up. Baby Bay into the cloud burst. Able to find the first kill. Seaside now opened up another kill to follow. Automatic to fall and phase. Looking to grab Ouch. the better half here. Seven to five in their sights. As Skadoodle creeps on through. The spike goes down. And it's four ultimates available the knives already popped in the blade storm rolling thunder available here as that spike was planted and not a whole lot of options for t1 no, other than to just try and send it onto the site yeah this is not looking good they got caught on a timing they were trying to drone out a so they could rotate later but the attack came too fast now they're in a lot of trouble as mars gonna start cleaning house take some straight sight though there are several players in position to defend against it Everybody just about rotated over in a beautiful paranoia for Marv to kick things off and the kills. It's all blue in the feed. They're trying to battle back, but Corey says, no way, Jose. Yourself a ghost or a shorty. Do something crazy. Curry might be able to do something crazy. You know, Marv sniffs it out this time. Last time we went fishing for the camp. This time we went fishing straight for the source there and finds Curry.
Yep, now the rest of T1 trying to get in through Garage, but uh, Corey, of course, is going to spot it here. It's going to get dashed on, but still finds the kill. Greets him with the wow, pistol. Another one. That is unbelievable from Corey. Again, he's known to be kind of the star of this team, one of the heavy fraggers on their roster, and he comes up big. That round defending window position. Now FaZe can just collapse on the rest. Easy pickings for Zachary after the stun. The two defenders here, is, we're going to see the attack come in. Huge recon dart though, but a couple of huge kills coming out from Spider to open up this A site and damage was traded back, but this jet could still look for some more. Now the spike to be planted. A 3v5 retake for phase. It's we we bounce back to Corey, who just has a ghost in hand and not a whole lot to uh to his name. Very close to the showstopper. Should he find a kill? The spider gonna find a third. Baby Bay tries to get out of dodge with the dash. Spider. In a follow suit, knives in hand, and oh, Zachary with the ghost is able to find one. So due to a bit of damage, the economy of one. Right. Now Corey just and I mean, for exits on the way out. And, the, and now in a four on five, they're gonna try to commit to B. Marv is here. Their fault line goes through. Beautiful fault line as Days dances around the wall. Corey here to try and back up the team. And this arguably one of the harder sites to hit that showstopper. Quite a bit harder now as. Unfortunately, he is six feet under. Rock is going to try and spray through the smoke. Has a couple of shock darts available. Nope, just the last, but a recon bolt coming up here momentarily. Phase mm -hmm. this time around, it's a 3v4, not a 3v5 on the retake. They're not really set up in the best way. As I say it, Baby Bay finds a kill and things get a whole lot more doable. Zachary picks it up as well. Rock is on the outside and Curry now from downtown. Needs to pull out the heroics for mid. And Baby Bay says no way home. Once more, Spider's still alive. Still has the Blades from available. Still going to be a large name here. Now on the inverse, Rolling Thunder available for Zachary. Who might, might possibly see that as he blinds his teammate. That's an unfortunate spot to be for. <laughs> a quick moment. Now here comes the Rolling Thunder. As they try and jump away, Spider going to get tagged up. Two stuck on the site from that. But in response, they send it right back. And they're starting to find more kills. Hey, he's down to their last three. Rock is from downtown is able to pick up a shock dart kill and unfortunately no matter how these kills start to go phases run out of time they have to get on the site and make a play they have to look to try and find it a fuse but spider is here the bouncer at the door for only a moment longer the kill start to follow but it doesn't v5 retake but surely he won worse for wear here as the stuns go through, Flashpoint going to be queued up as well. Nice shock dart just actually goes wide. So Spider still alive playing default on the side as Baby Bay. Not too sure where to go. And Spider finds that kill completely dazed. One for one wheel trade. And speaking of dazed, there he is on the kill feed now. Pick one up on the Corey and the rest of the squad playing out towards long. This is a, a tough ask oh, wow. As I say it, FaZe just starts to mow him down there. Low HP. It's up oh, to Curry my. once more. But Zachary. Cuts him down and phase back to the win column. That is such a spider. Almost picks it up onto Baby Bay, who's forced to dash away. Phase down to their last three. I believe. No, that was actually the rifle down. So it's just going to be the op in the hands of Baby Bay, who's getting so far away from the action just to try and save. Oh, yeah. I mean, their economy is still in tatters. So saving that operator and anything else they can would be pretty big. Corey obviously is expendable with the sheriff only, but he's going to be found out there by days. So. Area. Other two will just get out of dodge. They should be able to full buy next round now. I think they have a couple of alts still available to them. So, problem is you still have Rolling Thunder and 100 Street available for T1. So they are still in prime mm -hmm. position to keep rolling out the rounds. You figure you got the Rolling Thunder for a side execute to get side control, and you have a Hunter's Fury in your back pocket to stop a defuse. So back through the middle to B side, which is wide open for the Taken, by the way. No one is here. Everyone kind of rotated off, thinking it might be an A attack. So they will get it, but a big pick from Raucus. Not going to find a second, but here comes the Rolling Thunder. They're running out of time. Yep. And they have to get back on and find the plan. Baby Bay going to find the kills. They're just going to push right through and try and stop it. That's it right there. The spike goes down and phase. They clean them up, make it cool. They're all stacking up here. T1 looking to hit this one quick. And like you said, Baby Bay doesn't get a whole lot, but Spider on the other hand, will there's no Curry actually found Baby Bay and T1 are looking to take us into overtime. It's down to the last two. It's an operator in the hands of Zachary and Marv trying to creep on up. One going to get spotted out. Marv will find that kill from the back of the site. It's all up to Marv here. 1v3, not going to find that kill. He made it work once on their attacking half, looking to do it again as automatic tosses out the paranoia. Spike to go down and aftershock to try and push him away, but 
Oh, Just look at this from Eddie Bay. Too late, and this is huge. Curry sniffing it out, being a lurker himself. Doesn't peek all the way, though. Oh, this is going to be tense, man. This is about to be one heck of a round should Baby Bay not get caught out. Opening up the first, now looking to do more. Creeps on through from A-Link, able to find the first kill. The reload comes through, but Dazed is able to sit him down. Now, with three members remaining, they tap the spike, the spray through the smoke. Low HP on the Skadoodle, he will fall. It's all down to the last two as Marv goes through with the heroics. An automatic looking to just stick it, but he's low on HP. 12. They can hold out here on the defense. They will get the 2 well. They will deny the third one map, and that hurts oh, so no. much. Zachary finds another onto automatic. That smokes off the board, and there's not a whole lot now for T1 to get done. The aftershock going to push Skadoodle away. Alt line queued up and tossed out into garage just to make sure. Curry's leg gets spotted, and yep. I mean, it is all downhill from here. Yeah, FaZe is doing a great job just asserting themselves early in these rounds, getting these picks, not being afraid to take duels, and just suffocating T1, who are down two players now. Days trying to get something going by getting some control of Garage. Look at Baby Bay. Corey catches him, though, and I mean, this is this has got to be over. It's going to take a miracle for T1 now. FaZe playing this round so well. 30 seconds left. And they have... Pressure everywhere. B, A, both sides of the flank. Sure, they're going to yep. be able to walk onto this C site, but you you cannot expect enough from Curry and Skadoodle to try and get this one done. They're running out of time, so they're going to have to get the plant down. Skadoodle, he's going to peek on through. He swings the angle. Baby Bay, who better? He kicks it off.